So if we were to represent this in numbers, you know, you see x represents our variable, our unknown. We could have something like 3x plus 2 equal 11, right? So we could see that in this case, in this form, our a would be 3, uh, or b would be represented by 2, and our c would be represented by 11, okay? So that's the standard form of our linear equations when we include one variable. And there's another example. We have our 2x plus 3 equal 11, equals uh, to 11. And this one is not in the standard form, but we have a property that you guys should be familiar with that we could use to simplify this, this, the expression on the left. Uh, 2, and then what we have in parentheses is x minus 1. So we could use the distributive property to simplify this. And you guys should be familiar with the distributive property. So how would we simplify this expression on the left using the distributive property? See a few people typing. Wouldn't you, you'd multiply, correct? So you would multiply 2 by x and then 2 by negative 1? Thank you, Emily. That is correct. So with the distributive property, uh, Parker said it as well in the chat area there. Good job, Parker. So we would take the, uh, the distributor is the number on the outside of the parentheses, and we want to go ahead and multiply by the, the distributor by both our terms inside the parentheses. 2 times negative 1 would be negative 2. And then here we have it in our standard form whereas a is represented 2 by 2, b would be represented by negative 2, and c would be represented by 8. 